Welcome to my channel, I'm Brandon's LEGO Gun, and this is my first LEGO creation I'm going to be showing you guys. So, this is the LEGO AK-47, um, well, the LEGO AK-47 pistol, so, um, and also known as the Draco, which ha it's the AK-47, but no stock, the frame, everything about it's cut down a little shorter, the barrel, and... Uh, my different username actually made it a few years back, and uh, I'm the second one to actually make it and post it on YouTube. And um, so this isn't this barrel and all this is longer than this one right here. I'll be showing you all the creations that I made that will actually attach onto this gun and attachments. Um, the next and the next video, uh, which will be posted after this one. So. Um, this gun right here, the Draco, so I'm going to be showing you guys the cool, um, stuff about it. So, it's got a working trigger right here, here, uh, working trigger, so it's got a rubber band connected onto the trigger, and then, um, it has the fire selector right here, so semi-auto, fully auto, and then safety, so I won't chamber a full round. And then the bolt right here, actually, you can pull it back, and it will actually fly forward itself, because there's a rubber band. And I'm going to show you the magazine release real quick. So, the, this is a 15 round mag, I've got two of them right here, and um, a 30 round mag that you usually see on like AKs and stuff, which they're usually 30 round or 40 round mags. This one's just a normal 30 round, so you can also see there's a little, little bullet right there. If you're wondering why there's these little gap pieces on the ends, this one right here hooks onto the magazine release, and this one right here hooks into a little hole in the gun. And then there's a little bullet, so you can see through the chamber. Because, um, actually, the chamber and the um, magazine release, or the magazine... Um, the magwell are connected, so if you can see, I don't know if you guys can really see my finger in there. There we go. Um, that's my, and you can see right there, I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's got the, um, yeah, all of this stuff. And you guys can kind of, I'm pretty sure you guys can kind of see this little blue rod right here. This is the magazine release, so here I'm going to show you guys. So this right here, you push it in like that, just like the normal AK, push it in, and it won't come out. So you push that, and then it will fly, like it. you can pull it out like that. And if you're wondering why it comes out like that, that's because it, like, tilted. That's because how the normal AK is. I don't know why, but I made the magazine release the closest, it, and you can't actually hit, you can't actually hit it, and then the... Make hit um push the gun forward and then make the magazine fall out, um which I've got to work on that and all that to make it looser. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the field stripping and then um post this video and then um post the next video of all this cool stuff I actually those cool attachments I made for it. So um the field stripping um actually so um you take. If you can see this, you see this rod right here, push it back and you hear that click, push it down like that, and then you slide it out. That's the cleaning rod, but my Lego version. So we'll set that to the side. And then you can see the, um, hold on a second, dust cover right here. So I'm going to pull the dust cover off real quick. And... Um, there we go, there's the dust cover, and, um, yeah, there's the normal dust cover, so I'm going to set this to the side, and here's the bolt right here, if you guys can see that, the bolt, got the rubber band, oh, I guess the rubber band came off itself, so, there's the bolt, came off the rubber band just now, so, there we go, bolt, there's the part, that connects onto the rubber band right there. It's just a little pin. And, um, yeah. I'm going to show you the last part and then show you guys how to put it back together. So, this right here, this little switch, if you guys can see that, it's white. Um, you 
flip that up on the real gun. Mine doesn't do anything, it's just there for looks. I like to do this to make it look more realistic. This whole entire thing and the gas tube right here splits off. And, yeah. So there we go. And then there's the rubber band right there for the um, um, bolt. And then you can see through the magwell right there. You can kind of see my you see my hand if you guys don't believe me. I think this is edited. But, um, so... Um, I'm going to put this back together, so how I do it, the, take the little cleaning rod right here, and then I will take it, and then this piece right here, slide it in, push it forward, and it clicks into there. So then I end up taking um, the bolt right here, and then putting it in like that, and then take the rubber band and clip, put it into there. So, hold on. Oh, there we go. See those rubber bands connected on there. So I'm going to let that go forward. And then I take the dust cover right here. Just clip that on. Hold on. I just want to clip on for some reason. There we go. So push it down. And um, then I usually take this. So down to there like that. We'll switch. Pop it down, and another cool feature I forgot to show you guys. So the iron sights actually flip up just like the normal AK styled sights. And I'm gonna get you guys a look down the iron sights, and then show you, and then you guys can watch the next video. So go, go. You see that gray piece in the middle that between the two red dots that's the front iron sight if you guys are wondering why this is like a tire right here on the end it's the best i could do to get closer to the draco sight so bye and see you guys in my next video bye